Okay everyone, I just thought I would do a quick video on an installation of this new part I received from Thrash and Supply. Uh, and what I plan on doing is of course installing this on my uh, 2023 CUVO Road Glide. This is what came in the mail and let me show you what's inside. All right, so let me go ahead and open this package for you. And there we go. Got a nice little sticker here. That's kind of cool. Put that aside. And this is what we got. This is a skid plate that goes on the bottom of the 2023 20, uh, Road Glide, or I believe Street Glide as well, because they have the same uh, frame. Um, and what it really does is it protects the bottom of the bike. And let me show you underneath what we're going to be protecting here. So on the new uh, road glides and street glides, if you look underneath the frame, you will note that there is a lot of uh, deliquit wiring under there. Um, and uh, this wiring here can obviously be damaged uh, if you happen to be unlucky enough and maybe hit some kind of debris on the road or some rocks get kicked up and in some freak accident gets nicked uh, and that can damage underneath. In fact, there has been a case of, or definitely reported case of one person who had their radiator hose damaged uh, when a piece of debris came up and completely uh, destroyed the radiator hose, causing them a complete bike shutdown and needing a tow. So, let me show you how this install is going to go. Okay, to give you the, an idea, uh, this plate will mount to three bolts, two on the right side and one on the left. These are the bolts I'll need to remove and then reattach. This one here, and then one which is little bit farther in if you can see it over here uh, it's a smaller one um, and I'll need to remove the uh, radiator cover to fully be able to access it and then one on the left side of the bike which is this one right here so I'll go about and remove all of those four bolts and then of course I will uh, thread them back in and use uh, blue Loctite to make sure that they don't vibrate loose. Let's go ahead and pull that radiator cover off first and as you know this will just pull off. It's attached to some grommets. Just be a little bit careful. you don't want to snap any of the plastic pieces. And there we go. We got that radiator piece off. Just lay that aside. Um, again, you do want to be careful as uh, these are the uh, plastic, grom uh, plastic posts that hold it in place. And you don't want to break those off. Okay. And as you can see, I've now easily um, exposed the nuts I need to get to. Just going to get that in there. Use a breaker bar. Let's see if I can break that loose. Let me 
me see if I can get a different angle on this. There we go. Probably works a little bit better. Seem to get the right angle on this. Now that might work out. Let's give that a try. Oh. There we go. Okay, so I've removed uh, the bolts, again, two from the right side um, and then one on the left. Um, and these frame bolts need to be torqued on pretty tightly and also removed. Uh, so they're fairly hard to remove. I would use a breaker bar to do these. Um, and uh, here's the thrashing supply piece, the skid plate. And I'm just going to test fit it, make sure it fits properly into the place. And it looks like it's going to be a good fit there. The holes match up nicely. Just make sure it goes on on the other side there. And it's a perfectly machined part, so the tolerances are very precise. It can almost hold on by itself. And there we go. You can see it actually holds by itself there. I'll just line that up properly. And then screw the bolts back in. I don't believe I need a washer uh, for that part, but let me just check the clearance. Oh, it looks like the washer cannot be removed from the bolt. Um, so you'll note here the washer can't be removed, so I'll just go ahead and I'll use that. I'm going to add some blue Loctite to this, line it up properly, and I'll show uh, threading it back in. Okay, so here I just have some blue Loctite. I'll apply that to the bolt and then uh, just thread it in slightly to index the um, index the part so it doesn't slip out the other side. Just get that started by hand. As an aside, you always want to start bolts by hand first and not use a tool. That way you. Ensure you don't cross thread parts. We got that indexed and it's spinning freely. I'll just go to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, let me get a good angle on this one. Make sure it's lined up properly and it seems to be lined up okay. I'll just get my blue Loctite, put some more on there. That's bad enough. I'll thread that in by hand again, just to get it started, and ensure that I'm not cross-threading parts. And there we go. And that'll also help me index the part so it doesn't fall off. That's good enough for now. I'm going to go back to the other side and then do the smaller nut. And this one did not line up just right. I we'll just need to push this part down a little bit. Okay, so I was able to index that screw in with a little bit of Loctite. I'm just gonna make sure and tighten it down a bit. Make sure I have it in the right location. Yeah. 
feel it coming in through the back of the screw, so I have it in the right location. I'm just going to tighten it down a little bit. I'm not going to torque it down just yet because I want to make sure everything else is lined up properly. Now I'm going to torque this bolt down just as basically as hard as I can get it down. This bolt right here. I got my breaker bar on there. Actually, I probably don't need the breaker bar just yet. I'll probably use this. Okay, I'll snug that down just a little bit. I'm going to go to the other side, snug down the other one. Here we are on the left side. I'm just going to snug this uh, frame bolt down as well. So I snug down the bolt and I'm just going to check under the bike. And as you can see here, fits nicely. It's a beautifully machined part and this skid plate now protects all that wiring from any road debris that might pop up. Uh, you'll see there's no longer any exposed wiring. You can see the wiring under the plate over here. And if I move back, it's looking pretty sharp. All right, I'm just gonna snug everything down, uh, torque it down as tight as I can get, except this one, of course, which is doesn't require much torque at all. Okay. It's now time to go ahead and remount the uh, radiator cover. Uh, before I do, I am going to use this um, silicone grease, this O-ring silicone grease, and just place a slight amount in each of the rubber grommets. Um, that'll make mounting the uh, cover a lot easier and also ensure the maintenance of the rubber grommets over time so they don't degrade. Here's my uh, cover piece. Just gonna get this in the right position. Find the rubber grommets. And push that in. Get to the other side, do the same thing. And it placed in nicely. And we are all good to go. That is the installation of the Thrashen Supply uh, skid plate for the 2023-24 Road Glide and Street Glide. Um, you can see it's a beautifully machined part, fits perfectly. Uh, they do now make a powder coated black one of these. Um, silver was fine for me. Uh, it's a part that is really under the bike and you really can't see it. I think that's a great addition, a great peace of mind. Um, this is really nice lightweight aluminum. It's, I would say it's probably uh, maybe 3 30 seconds inch thick. So it's a very sturdy piece. Uh, excellent addition. Thank you.